Hi everyone, and welcome to this heavy tutorial dedicated to effects. With each one of them, you'll be able to use the old good slider or the metronome. The metronome's value can be changed either by clicking the tap module or by typing in a tempo value. To modify a color, you can click on any color and a range of colors will pop up in the software. The small tab at the top can be used for activating or disabling effects, you can also double click it. In the line effect, you have two more effects, speed and direction of rotation. The filling effect will allow you to add colors. Here you have several categories, the unique color one will set one color that will apply to all of your shapes and the random color one will ease the adding or removal of colors. You can also choose special fillings which are specific filling effects. As you can see in the video right now, here we've chosen the inside filling, a tempo module. You may also choose the hypnotic module which will have the velocity. The move category will affect anything that has a rotation. You'll also be able to choose the rotation axis, in other words, X, Y or Z, and velocity. I'm going to set it to zero so that I can freeze the rotation and then change its direction. Structure effects will be concentric effects, and if you move the center of all your shapes at the same time, you will obtain perspective effects. You can right click, reset center, to bring back all your centers to default mode. You'll find several parameters in these categories. Color, width, speed. Next category is one that we named Shaker. These effects take in account your whole output. You won't be able... You won't be only choosing groups, it will select absolutely everything. If you add colors, fillings or rotations, a shivering effect in the shaker will make everything shiver. Finally, the last category to present is the one dealing with transition effects. Here, we are going to see how to add fade effects at the beginning or at the end of a sequence and how to do a series of them. In other words, you can activate your beginning and end effects, but if you forget to click on the play button in the sequence or at the bottom, you won't see these effects. It's essential that you click on the sequence's play button specifically in order to see these transitions. Once you have built a beginning and an end transition for each and every sequence, you'll witness a fade between your sequences. Thank you for following this tutorial and feel free to ask any question in the comments below or in the heavy forum. See you soon!